This is Ritesh Srinivasan and welcome to my channel. So when the Falcon series of large language models were released, they claimed to be the best performing open source large language models available. They say that it outperforms Llama, StableLM, Red Pajama, etc. Okay, so this is the Falcon 40 billion parameter model. Now they also have a Falcon 40 billion instruct fine tuned model. It is known as Falcon 40 billion instruct. Okay, so this is actually an instruction fine tuned model. So it may not be better, it may not be useful for say fine tuning or something, but it is a ready to use chat or instruct model. Right. So because this is an instruct model, I wanted to try out this for some tasks like text summarization. Okay. Or say writing a poem. Okay. Um, so to try out this model, one of the things is that it requires at least 85 to 100 GB of memory to run inference with Falcon 40 billion. Okay. But they also have this blog post where they explain how you can actually run you know, the 40 billion instruction model. So what they say is that uh, it doesn't fit into a single A100 GPU with 80 GB of RAM, but you can load it in 8-bit mode. It is possible to run in about 45 GB of RAM, which fits in an A6048 GB graphics card. And here they have the code for it. Okay. When they are uh, loading the model, they say load it in 8-bit. Okay. So I thought, why not try out this? So for this, I would require a, a GPU instance, right? So here is where Jarvis Labs come. They have very cheap GPU instances. You can sign in. Okay. Uh, you just need to have a balance of $10 over here. And then you can start, you know, um, uh, creating GPU instances. So I have actually created a A6000 GPU instance. Okay. And I have created it, basically I have created an A6048 GB graphics card instance. And right, and I created say a hard disk of close to 200 GB. So this is my running cost. It is just $1 per hour. Okay. So with this graphics card instance, which I created, I launched the Jupyter lab. Okay. And let's look into our Jupyter notebook. So first you need to set up your libraries, basically transformers, enops. Accelerate, Langchain, Bits and Bytes, okay, because I'll be also using Langchain for prompt templates and your, you know, a text summarization task. So I just followed this instruction of how you can actually load this model. So that is what I do over here. So from Transformers, you import Auto Tokenizer, Auto Model for Causal LM, and you also import Pipeline, right? Uh, you import Transformers, import Torch, and this is the model right falcon 40 billion instruct so here you can create the tokenizer and you create the model you need to be careful that you need to load it in 8 bit you should say this as true okay otherwise you cannot load this in a 48 gb graphics card because this might take up to 45 gb okay when you load it in 8 bits and then you create your pipeline for text generation the standard pipeline over here right and then what you do is that you now, uh, you know, this actually took around say 30 minutes or something to download the models and then, uh, you know, load the model in eight bits in GPU. Okay. Um, the other things are not shown over here, the load, uh, downloading of the model because I had restarted this kernel. Okay. So, but it uh, loads, uh, it loads the checkpoints. Basically each checkpoint was close to nine GB, but it loads in eight bits and that is how it is fitting into this particular graphics card. So now you have your model loaded. Okay. So now from Langchain, you are importing hugging face pipeline and you are creating your LLM over here. Okay. You are instantiating the pipeline with the pipeline, which has been created over here, whereby your model has been loaded. Okay. So once you do this, next, what you do is that you define your prompt template. Okay, so for that you, from Langchain, you import your prompt template and here is my template. I just want to write a concise summary of the following text delimited by triple back quotes. Return your response in bullet point, which covers the key points of the text. And here is my input variable text. Okay, and this is the bullet point summary. So with this kind of a 
prompt template i create my llm chain with the prompt and the llm large language model here is where i create the prompt from the prompt template class okay with the input variable as text so here is my first text what i do is that i say falcon i put some details on the falcon falcon uh, large language model and then i say print llm chain dot run text so it basically runs this particular uh, text it feeds this as an input variable into this template and runs it using the llm which we have supplied okay in this case falcon 40 billion instruct model so this is the kind of summary generates okay falcon 40 billion is the new top performing llm falcon models can be fine-tuned on instruction and conversation data right it includes state of our training falcon models use multi-query attention so kind of summary is generated i wouldn't say it is a very good summary and it's not that satisfactory over here I tried another text where I say about, you know, I pull some details on Tesla, right? And here when I am running with this text, it kind of gives me a better summary over here. Okay. In terms of text which has been generated. But then again, it gives some unwanted text over here like this. Can you provide examples or evidence of Tesla's alleged worker rights violation or something? Okay. If it was still here, it was a very good summary, I would say. Right. Again, I try with another summary where I give some details on Apple and here if you see the format has changed, but it is actually given a summary over here. Okay, it's given a slightly detailed summary over here. Right, uh, you know, Apple is an American monetary. Basically, based on this input, it has actually summarized it and it is slightly better over here. Okay, then I said, let me change the template a little bit and I said, you are a useful AI text summarization assistant. Write a concise summary following text delimit, uh, delimited by triple backcodes. Return your response, covers the key aspects of the text, and I have my. So, this is my new prompt template. Okay. So, and I uh, create that prompt and I also instantiate with the LLM. Okay. When I am trying this now, it gives slightly better output over here for that Falcon text. Right. Uh, you know, uh, you can use Falcon models in the following use cases, and it gives a summary over here. Right, open source language models, fine tuning of instructions, inference and quantification, large scale text generation, text classification, and summarization. And I am trying that with the input for um, the text on Tesla. Here is a summary which it gives Tesla is an American automotive industry leader specializing in electric vehicles. Uh, they have expanded their production. Up to here, it is fine. Again, it goes into some kind of unwanted text over here. Okay, so probably when you are extracting out, you need to extract using some regexes or something, the summary over here. Okay, when I'm trying again with Apple, it gave me a good summary over here, the text, you know, on Apple, right, in five bullet points. So it has given here quite perfectly, right. Then I said, why don't I try it under template where I want to write a poem on the following text delimited by triple backcodes. Okay, the poem or poem should have no more than 10 lines of text. Okay, and text and poem. So this is my prompt template. And uh, here I again instantiate the prompt uh, class and I pass it to the LLM chain along with the LLM with this template defined over here and my input is text. So my text is now artificial intelligence. And when I'm running the LLM chain with this text, it gives me this poem. I'm an AI, I'm a bit confused. What do you want from me? Please be specific. I'm here to assist, but I need some context. I'm here to solve problems, but I don't know which ones. I can do a lot of things, but I don't know how. Can you please tell me what do you want to know? Okay, so it has kind of generated a rhyming text over here. Okay, a small poem or poem. Okay, next, I wanted to try with, say, a poem on money, right? Or a poem on money. Here, I don't know what happened. I just went uh, you know crazy over here and it generated some junk over here so there is this problem of your large language model sometimes not producing the output which you want so you should have some kind of control or verification on what is the text which has been generated okay i'm not sure of why this behavior comes over here in this large language model but i've seen it happen so this is how i actually tried out falcon instruct 40 billion model right so you can try it out as a chat model as well you can chat with it so probably you can create a chat bot with it maybe i'll create a future video on how you can create a chat bot with this falcon 40 billion instruct okay 
So this was a video on how you can run 40 billion uh, parameter instruct model okay, on a 48 GB graphics card. So the instructions are provided in this blog over here. I'll link in this blog as well. I hope this video is useful to you. Shout out to Jarvis Labs AI for their cheap graphics uh, GPU instances. Right? They are quite cheap in terms of cost when compared to other platforms. I'll be putting the link to this, uh, you know, hugging face model uh, card page along with the Falcon uh, blog. You can go and check it out. I hope this video is useful for you. If you like the video, please like, share, subscribe to the channel. See you in another video.